Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel on the Art of Alopecia. For those who don't know me, my name is Marcy and on this YouTube channel we primarily do wig reviews. <laughs> um, but I also have done some tips, tricks, tutorials, Q&As, all of that fun stuff. I'm also very active on two other social media platforms. I have my Instagram and my TikTok. You can also find me under the name The Art of Alopecia. I also have an Art of Alopecia Gmail account which is theartofalopecia at gmail.com if you don't necessarily feel comfortable reading reaching out to me via social media. That is totally fine. You can absolutely contact me via email. If you're in need of any support or have any questions or just wanna chat, I would be happy to connect with you. Alrighty, babes. I have been literally fired up about this, filming this review for the longest time. I cannot wait to show you these pieces. I always say that all of my videos are very exciting because I always get excited when I get a new wig, but let me tell you, these wigs have something different on me me and honestly I've only had them for about 24 hours and I truly believe them to be a life-changing <laughs> like this is something new something that I have personally never seen before so I am so flippin excited to show you guys and to talk about Jadora Secrets Jadora Secrets newest aloe caps oh my goodness let's get started already posted a little sneak peek video on on Instagram and TikTok, a little try on haul with all four of them. And yes, I have four to show you guys. Two are smalls, two are mediums. The two smalls are blonde and the two mediums are more on the darker side. So I've got like a platinum blonde, I've got an ashy blonde, I've got a chocolate brown and I've got a jet black one and I'm so excited. And I'm also going to show you a, another Jadora secret wig that was sent to me um, just to film some content with. It's not part of the aloe cap collection, but I think it is definitely worth showing on here. So let's get started. I do realize that I just said, let's get started a minute ago, but now we're actually gonna get started. So when you order your Jador Secret wig, um, it's gonna come in this stunning box. As I always say in all of my videos, when you are investing in a high quality product, you want to ensure that your storage is also high quality. And these boxes are a great way to store your wigs because it keeps it away from any dust or from any sunlight that could potentially harm the color as well. So this is the box. It is so beautiful. It is so sturdy. I love the fact that it is rose gold on the inside. It is just like so simple, but like so me. Oh my goodness. I wish all of my boxes looked like this. Just so great. Anyways, I thought I would just mention that, but let's move on to the first wig. Okay, so before I show you guys these four or five beautiful wigs, I wanna talk about the significance of this cap construction because let me tell you, it is legendary and I have personally never seen anything like this or have tried it, so I am so excited. This is going to take the wig world by storm. And coming from me, that is like, very incredibly significant because I have tried my fair share of wigs over the years. I've been wearing wigs since I was 10 and now I basically review wigs on the daily. So this is just so absolutely incredible. Like this cap construction, this wig actually made me emotional. Like I, I tried it on and I started wearing it and I just realized just how incredible it is. Okay, so these are Jadora Secret's newest aloe caps. And basically what that means is it is meant for anyone who has a full bald head. I don't believe that this would work for anyone with alopecia areata or someone who's intending for their hair to grow back because the silicone all throughout the wig is going to hug the bare naked scalp. And that is basically how it is designed. So for me, someone with the alopecia universalis, I have no hair growth. I do not intend to have any hair growth. So this is perfect for me. Basically what this is, it's a glueless full lace cap, but with silicone all throughout. Like there is silicone everywhere on the ear tabs, on the back nape, 
This is not supposed to be here. I forgot to cut this, but I'll show you other examples without this. But basically there are silicones in all the right places to actually like suction to your head or like glue to your head without actually gluing it onto your head. This is amazing. Like this stays on so great. But also the thing about these is you have to make sure that it fits you right. So you have to make sure that you follow along all of the measurements on the website because if it doesn't fit you, then the silicone is just not going to do its job if it's a little too loose. So I am a size small and I have two size smalls and two size mediums and there's a huge difference. Usually I can wear size mediums if they have any kind of like straps or like a resistance band, anything that's like hugging it, hugging the wig to my scalp. And technically, yes, the silicone does do that, but it's different. I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Basically, all I'm trying to say is I would highly, highly recommend getting the right size or trying your best to find the right size. And if you reach out to Dora Secrets, they would absolutely be able to help you. And one of the main reasons why I got so, so excited about these caps is because I love full lace wigs because it is so versatile in what you can do with it. You can style it to the point of like having your own hair back because there is literally no limitations. But the only thing about full lace wigs that I don't like is I don't love the struggle of gluing the back down, the back nape. It just like, it's, it's, it does not work for me. It just like irritates the back of my skin whenever I put like glue or adhesive or even tape. Like I just, I don't love the sensation. So this was literally life-changing when I received it. Now that we've talked about the cat construction, I will probably continue to talk about it throughout the video. Let's talk about all of these wigs. I want to emphasize the fact that all of these wigs have the same length, two are smalls, two are mediums, but basically their specs are all the same. Their cap construction is the same. Their density is the same, which is 130. So they are all 16 inches. They are all 130% in density. They all have HD transparent lace and they all have partially bleached knots. So just so you guys know that, I will probably put a little box wherever to remind you guys that they are the exact same specs and I'm just getting these specs from Jadora's website. Okay, so introducing Miss Harper and I'm just going to read off the color because you guys know how much I struggle with that. So Harper is a creamy platinum base with ash low lights and a shadow root. And let me tell you, she is so incredibly stunning. I am obsessed with this. So let me show you. I don't know if I gave you a full 360 view of the cap, but this is the cap. Also silicone here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And also a good indication that your wig, that your aloe cap is too big for you is when the ear tabs don't fit directly in front of your ears. If they're covering your ears, if they're on top, then that might mean, or that might indicate that it is a little bit too big. So we're just going to whip it on. Oh my God. The fact that it just like suctions to my head, like the minute I throw it on, is just absolutely incredible. Oh my goodness, I am obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. Wow, wow. Okay, let me give you guys a quick look at this hairline. So the ear tabs, they do have a certain kind of silicone. They don't hold like the rest of the silicone. So I don't know if it's a matter of maybe adding some tape onto the ear tabs for more security. They do stick, but the moment that you kind of, you push your hair back, it doesn't stick anymore. So I'm gonna look into that and I'm gonna ask Jadora Secrets if taping is a thing, an, an option that we can potentially do because I have tried to style it in a ponytail and it's amazing as long as you kind of keep some hairs down, that holds 
the base down, but if you wanted a sleek look like this, I don't know if it would hold down. So here is the hairline. Like it is so incredibly natural. Oh my goodness. And then the part, the part is what gets me. It just looks so natural. And you can also change the part wherever you want. Let me tell you, full lace caps are so versatile. You can do so much with it. Okay, let me just do a hair toss experiment so you guys can see just how secure it is. Are you ready? Set. Sorry if that was shaky, but this bad boy isn't going anywhere. Now, before I move on to the second aloe cap, I just wanted to tell you guys that Harper does come with some very subtle face framing layers, which makes things so much more natural. This wig is just like insane. The color is insane. It just feels so incredibly soft. I always forget to mention this in all my videos. I always say that I'm gonna mention this and then I always forget, but this is human hair. All of these wigs are human hair, so you can do whatever you want with it. You can have so much fun. So I am going to move on to Miss Mila and she is right in front of me. So introducing Miss Mila. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. So let's throw her on. As I mentioned previously, she has the exact same cap construction. She is 16 inches. She's 130% in density. She is just a different color. Let's throw her on. Like the fit of this is so secure. There are nothing, there's nothing like poking me or anything. Like there are no straps. Like there is just, oh, there is something so special about this cap. And I'm sure the sweatier you get, the more secure it would be. Cause that's kind of how silicone works, right? I believe so. So introducing Miss Mila, she's kind of losing her curl. Um, which is kind of unfortunate, but she has these beautiful face framing layers. Come on, where are you? Okay, they're there. So incredibly gorgeous. I love, love, love her color. She is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, let's show you guys this hairline. And then the part. Ah, okay, with this one, it doesn't have the extra back nape that I should have cut, but I forgot to cut. So I just wanted to show you guys what it would look like in a ponytail. Let me just grab my, I'm just gonna do this free ball without any mirror. It's gonna be more of like a messy, kind of ponytail and the great thing about full laces is you can wear your hair up in a high pony but just for the sake of this video i'm just going to put it in whatever pony i can do without looking at a mirror okay so here she is i'm gonna try and give you guys Gotta glue it down. I don't know if you guys can see that. Mm -hmm. 
like so incredibly natural. You barely have to glue it down. But again, I feel like if I were to ask Jodora Secrets about the best way to secure it, if you do want that extra security, I believe you would be able to apply tape on this kind of material. I, I would probably advise against any kind of glue or adhesive because this cap construction is just so unique and I just, I'm so unfamiliar with it. So I don't have the correct thing to say right now, but as I continue to wear it and learn more about it, I will keep you guys updated. And I also just want to say that I always film my reviews in front of the natural lighting. So this is the true color of what it will look like in natural lighting. In terms of the cap construction, I feel like since it is full lace, full lace are usually very, very breathable when you are in higher climates or if it is the summer. So honestly, I have not been able to wear her out. I do plan to wear her out tonight. So I will maybe add a little something in the description box down below as to how that was. But I'm assuming from prior experience that this will be very, very secure and also breathable. Oh my goodness, I can't stop feeling this hair. It is so silky smooth. I don't know the origin behind the human hair, but it is so, so high quality, so smooth. There is no shedding whatsoever. Oh, so incredibly stunning. Okay, let's move on to the darker pieces that are also medium size for all of my medium size babes. Alrighty, moving on to wig number three. Introducing Miss Lola. She is a chocolate brown with blonde highlights throughout. She is absolutely stunning. Again, same cap construction, just in a size medium, a different color. She is still 130% in density and 16 inches in length as well. Okay, let's try her on. You might notice that it might look a little bit big or the lace starts to kind of jump on me a little bit more than the smalls. That is just because it is in fact too big and I wouldn't be able to wear this out with the utmost amount of security that it should provide. So I know that I need a small when it comes to these wigs. Okay, so this is Mila, or Lola, sorry. Mila is the last one. She is so incredibly stunning. I believe Lola also has a few face framing layers, or maybe I could be wrong. Oh, these seem to be a little bit short. No, they are definitely not shorter. So let me show you guys the hairline. The hairline is not gonna look as natural for this one just because the ear tab is going on top of my ear so I'm not getting that full effect. But just to give you guys somewhat of an idea of what it would look like. The knots are only partially bleached on all of these pieces. So it is inevitable that if you do have more fair skin like I do, the knots will just be a little bit more visible, which is totally fine. Honestly, if I would never be able to notice it unless I looked at someone this close up. And as I said, you can part it wherever you like. You can actually do like French braids with these wigs because they are full lace and it's gonna look so natural. You can do a high pony, a high bun. Oh my goodness. She is so sweet. And again, do you see like, this is a little bit too big, but like I'm pulling this and it's not going anywhere because that silicone is hugging right to my scalp, which is exactly what I love. I love a wig that is easy to throw on that looks natural without having to do anything and it is secure and comfortable. That is my four things that I look for because personally, I always like to call myself a lazy alopecian. So if I can find something 
that looks great that I can easily throw on. I don't have to worry about any glue or adhesive. And that all depends on personal preference. It all depends on what you're kind of looking for out of a wig. If you really like those kind of sleek hairlines then absolutely go with a full lace so that you can do that. But with these, I cannot wait to have more time with these because, or with my one that I'm keeping, that I can just absolutely play around with it and um, show you guys how I like it and how I'm just like living with it, styling it. Oh my goodness. Ah, she is so incredibly gorgeous. Look at those stunning highlights. Stunning. Okay, let's move on to our final aloe cap, which is Ebony. She is a natural black and there's a little fluff on her. She is so, so gorgeous. As I said, same cap construction. The aloe caps all have the same cap construction. This is a medium size, so it is a little bit too big for me. The same goodness as the other ones. And let's throw her on. She has a natural black color. Oh, this one, yeah, you can definitely tell that it's a little bit too big for me. Oh my goodness. So as you can tell, the lace is lifting because it is too big for my scalp. But let me try to create the illusion of what it would look like if it did fit. So the knots are going to be inevitably a little bit darker appearing on my skin because I have very, very fair skin. She is so gorgeous. There's something about a black wig that just like gives me the utmost amount of confidence. Like black is just, ugh, these, this wig is just so striking. Like I love black wigs with my big brown, not brown eyes, <laughs> my big green eyes and a little red lip just exudes confidence. I just feel so sexy. Stunning and give me, give you an up close of the, of the part. As I said, you can part it wherever you'd like. You can have a lot of fun with these wigs because they're human hair. So you can curl them, you can straighten them, you can crimp them, you can put hot rollers in them, you can braid them, you can put them into ponies, you can put them into buns with that security of the silicone. And as I said, if you missed this, when I said this previously, these wigs are made for people with absolutely no hair. So people with alopecia universalis, people who are fully bald, who don't intend for any regrowth to occur because the moment that your hair starts to grow back or you do have any hair, then the wig is just not going to work as good as if you were fully bald because the silicone sticks to scalp, it doesn't stick to hair. Ooh, I love a good side part moment. Wow, so beautiful. Okay, so this is Ebony. I will have all of these wigs linked down below. Now for just a little surprise, I'm going to show you a wig that Jadora just came out with. It's not an aloe cap, but I thought, why not? I'm reviewing these wigs by Jadora. Might as well just grab one more to show you guys. Introducing the probably the longest wig that that Jadora Secret has, which is Miss Margot. She's literally half of my body height. Like I kid you not, she is half of my body height. And it says on the tag, how long is she? She is 28 inches long. 28 inches long, oh my goodness. And 180% in density. She's a size small. So if you want long mermaid hair, then I believe you might want to check out Morgan. She is brand new. I gotta send her back because one of you lucky people are going to walk home with it. The lace isn't cut, so just a disclaimer. Let's throw her on just to show you guys. 
when I got to adjust it and my tummy is rumbling because I am hungry. I did post a reel about this as well, but I just thought might as well take a moment to check this wig out. Incredibly natural, great hairline. Hair is silky smooth. Let me stand up. I can't even like get the full picture. I have to stand on <laughs> like on the bench. So I am like five foot one and she is like sitting right at like my pelvic bone. She is so, so, so long, so gorgeous. Anyways, go check her out. I will also list her down below. This is Margot. 28 inches of beautiful, beautiful, high quality hair. Well, before I let you guys go, I just wanted to give you guys a close up of all of these wigs all together so you guys can see the difference in the color. So we have Mila, Harper, we've got Lola and Ebony. They are just so, so stunning. Definitely losing their curl. Poor girls were in the mail for like about a week. So they definitely lost their curl, but they are still just as stunning. And I just wanted to let you guys know that, that these are very new to Jador Secret. So if one is sold out, you can order it to what we call made to order. So if you do order it, you just have to wait a little longer for them to order it for them to send to you. So just know that that is possible, but I believe these wigs are going to take the wig world by storm and they will be getting a whole lot more. I believe there are more selection on the website, maybe a few more in a few different colors. So I would highly, highly recommend going to check that out. Now, let me just end with this guys. If you have alopecia universalis like me, if you are fully bald for whatever reason and your hair and you're not really anticipating your hair to grow back, I would highly, highly recommend going to check these wigs out because they are incredible. They are easy to wear. They are secure and you really don't have to worry about anything because they look so natural and you can do so much with them and you don't have to worry about the maintenance of putting on the glue and taking off the glue and cleaning it and it's just a whole lot of work so if you are like me and you just want something easy to wear that looks so natural I would run to Jador Secret, use my code. I will put my code right down there and you can just put that code in at checkout and that will allow you to save some moolah off your pieces. So please do that so you can save yourself a little extra money. Oh my goodness, I am getting, oh, I'm gonna get emotional again because these wigs are just so incredible and I would highly, highly recommend I have worn countless wigs in my life and this is by far the most excited I have been in a while regarding wigs. They are just beautiful. So, so beautiful. Anyways, I will link all of these down below so you don't have to worry about hunting for them. I will also put my code down below if you missed that. And I will also probably update the description box as I continue to wear it. Or if you do, or if you are interested, then please follow me on all of my other social media platforms because I am sure I will be talking more about these wigs on there. So I will link everything down below. No need to worry about that. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video because I'm sure it's going to end up being more than 20 minutes <laughs> because I like to talk a lot about wigs because I'm so passionate about it. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Goodbye, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you love wigs or are interested about wigs because I kind of post all about wigs so this is definitely the place to be anyways okay love you guys appreciate all of the support over the years anyways we'll see you next time bye guys